wondering what we'll be doing this time next week. Ooh, settling down to a champagne breakfast, I expect. I'm wrapping lots of expensive presents. <laughs> Morning, Laurel. The only present I'll be unwrapping will be lying next to me. I don't know about you, but I'm not planning on leaving the house. <laughs> well, maybe for a while in the afternoon. Well, you're planning on whisking me off to some posh restaurant for lunch? No, I'm going shopping with Benice and Diane. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be going there for a minute. Are you serious? Well, you know how excited I am about seeing Benice. Shopping? The day after we get married? Well, just so long as I know where your priorities lie. Oh, don't be like that. Benice is only here for a few days. And then I'll be yours forevermore. <laughs> <laughs> Morning! Hiya! Not long to the big day. I've got my outfit sorted. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> oh, Paddy. I was just on my way over to yours. The rehearsal today, six o'clock sharp. I hadn't forgotten. Oh, oh on the ball, isn't he? <laughs> oh, best man's speech, right? All good, I hope. Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the bank, son. It's all I've got. I'll, I'll, I've not been paid yet. Oh. <laughs> we're going to have to do better than this, lads. Oh, yeah, Dad's right. I don't know how we're going to afford a decent present at these prices. Yeah, well, you can forget about them uh, overpriced wedding lists. Well, that's how things are done these days. Yeah, well, this is going to a much more worthy cause. What are you on about? Not on stag do. <laughs> no. Hey, no, no, the present comes first. Just buy me a set of tea towels and I've done with it. Yeah, good idea. Me and Sam will go to what market tomorrow. No, we are doing things my way. I do not want to be shown up at this wedding. What are you barking on about now? Ro, remember that pathetic excuse for a present you gave for their Marlon and Trisha's engagement? What is wrong with the fondue set? Oh, two words. Hey, no, not go using that language. Not in front of our bell. Piece of junk. Eh? Yeah, that, that's three words. What use is a second-hand fondue set to a chef of all people? Well, trust me, Marlon will get more than his money's worth out of this stag do. Anyway, shouldn't it be Paddy that's arranging all of this, seeing as he is the best man? What, well, let him escape from a traditional dingle send-off? Not a cat's chance, eh? <laughs> what are you reading? Never you mind. It must be interesting, whatever it is. You've been on the same page for the past ten minutes. You've finished the shelves, yet? Yeah? All done. Let's have a look. This is getting out of hand. It's starting to be obsessive. Give it back. Is that the list for the calendar? Yes. Remind me again, what number am I? Four. Four, me lucky number. What about Viv? Thirteen. Unlucky for some, eh? I'm thirsty, Trisha. Oh, it's all part of my new beauty regime. I want my skin to look at its radiant best for next week. I never understood the fascination with designer water. Not when you can get it out at the tap. It's hardly the same, though, is it? I don't see how putting a fancy label on it makes it any better. Two pounds. And I don't know what you're gloating about. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why is that, then? Well, bearing flesh for a calendar is hardly the appropriate behaviour for a bride-to-be. I mean, how will Marlon feel with half the village ogling his better half? Since when has my name been gullible? You can't nobble me, Viv. If you've got it, flaunt it. If you haven't, shut your cake hole. See ya! <laughs> nice try, Mrs Up. You heard what Dr Devgan said. She is 16 weeks pregnant. Yeah, and we won't know for sure until she's had the scan. So we have to act fast. With what? With setting a date for the abortion. Don't you think Zoe should have a say about this? It's what she wants. No, Chris, it's what you want. I'm only doing what's best for her. You don't seriously think that she can go ahead with this? I don't know what to think, Chris. I'm still trying to take it all in. Should we go? We were just discussing... I don't want to be late. I'll be in the car. Humour's good, isn't it, Marlon? You know, to keep the audience smiling. Like, why are Adam and Eve the luckiest couple in the world? Because neither of them have got a mother-in-law. Has Steph made another pass at you? Not yet, no. Right, well, that's something then, I suppose, isn't it? What are you going to do? Well, how do you feel about lending me a tranquilizer gun? Preferably one you'd use on a large animal the effects of which would last, say, oh, I don't know, about a week. See, now that's funny. That's funny. Why can't I come out with something like that? Who's joking? 
Yeah, bye. Bye. Everything all right? It's Bernice. She can't come to the wedding. Oh, why not? She's called Clangela Fever. Oh, Diane won't be happy. It would have been so good for Gabby to see her mum again. Never mind all that. What about me? What am I going to do? I can't get married without a bridesmaid. Okay, try and calm down. Let's, let's just think about this. It's less than a week to the wedding, Marlon. Maybe we should call it off until she's better again. No, no, Tricia, we can't do that. We're all disappointed, but let's not be doing anything hasty. Especially after all the time and effort we've put in. Yeah, you're right. I should have known something like this was going to happen. Well, why do you say that? My horoscope said I was in for a major setback. But it also said something positive would come out of it. Blimey, you lot look like you're going off to a funeral, not a wedding rehearsal. Uh, Trisha's just had some bad news. Bernice can't make it to the wedding. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe that's it. My positive from a negative. I, what, what, what are you thinking, Trish? Mum, how would you like oh, to but be Emily! Emily? Yeah, I was just about to say the same. Yeah, but Emily... I mean, she's hardly bridesmaid material, is she? I mean, she's not very... Mm. Well, she's just... Kind, considerate, level-headed, a good listener. <laughs> what more qualities could one want? And think of it this way. With Emily by your side, you, know, you look even more stunning in the photographs. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Hmm. All right, mind if I join you? You waiting for anyone in particular? Mum, as if you hadn't guessed. I can recommend the uh, Hammer Mushroom Quiche. Look, uh, you know your mum and me are mates, like. If you say so. No, I look sick. I like your mum, she's a top bird and that. That's why I just wanted to ask you a couple Look, I don't want to get into this. No, no, Mark, see, you, you're getting me all wrong. I'm not after anything heavy. What, so a quick fling, then, is that it? I'm just trying to find a bit of common ground between us, that's all. No, I just figured it. I shouldn't have bothered. Look, if I'm honest, I don't think you and my mum have that much in common anyway. I'm not just good for a laugh and a pint, you know. What do you reckon? So try me. All right. Mum's into outdoor things, walking, biking, that kind of stuff. Are you two planning on ordering anything this century? Do you know, Viv? I've suddenly lost my appetite. Uh, are you ready for the big one, Paddy? I, I think so, yeah, as soon as I get this flipping speech out of the way. No, I don't mean the wedding, I mean the stag do. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been working on it, actually. I thought we could even start Well, you know, you, no, you, you, you leave all the necessary arrangements to us. Look like you've got enough to worry about. Well, I have, yeah, but... <laughs> no, don't, don't worry about it. We'll make sure that Marlon has a night to forget. Don't you mean remember? Right. What are you up to? Oh, I'd be telling, wouldn't it? Emily, can I ask you something? Of course. What are you doing next Thursday? Because I'd really like it if you could be my bridesmaid. I'm really desperate. Bernice is too ill to come and you're my last resort. Oh. Oh, but you'd be doing me a really huge favour. Yes. <laughs> Marlon, I want to ask you something. You finished? I can't believe it. You like? Oh, I love it. It's stunning. It's... It's perfect. You're lucky to be marrying such a talented young man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, you were going to ask me something. Oh, yeah. What do you think about me mum being me maid of honour? See? Mm -hmm. Told you'd be pleased. <laughs> Hope that's not too cold for you. No. Are you sure you're OK, Miss Tate? Fine. So is everything as it should be? Yes, it all seems absolutely fine. And what's that, um, moving? That's the baby's heartbeat. There you see the shape of the head, and that's the body. Can't believe it's so well developed. When will you be able to tell us how far gone she is? I would say Miss Tate's 20 weeks pregnant. 20 weeks? No, that can't be right. Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain. So 
Do it. Wait. 20 weeks. That's five whole months. You know what this means. I need to go home and think about this. Well, hang on. At least let's talk to the nurse first. Why? We've got what we came for. About... about an HIV test. Oh, Zoe! Look, this is really important. I know you're just trying to be brave. I'm terrified. I know. If I never see another spud again, it'll be too soon. We've shifted a lot more than I thought we would. Does that mean I could knock off early? You're kidding. The amount of work we've got on. So there's no point me asking for a couple of hours off? When? This afternoon, I need to price rings. Sorry, lad. I've, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about the engagement. You can't change your mind. I'm not going to. It's about the ring. What about it? I've had it polished up. It was my grandma Josie's engagement ring. Katie's great-grandma. She wanted our Katie to have it on her 18th birthday. Thought it might do for now instead. I know you're strapped for cash and, uh, well, Katie loved her dearly. I don't know what to say. I know our Katie look after it. Thanks. I'll keep it safe till we're finished. Thanks for, not just that, but for everything. Right, back to work. You should be a model, Mrs. Hope. Oh, thank you, Laurel. Especially with hands like that. I have modelled, as it happens. Really? What was it? Wedding rings? Not a hand model. Hosiery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Still, wish I had lovely hands like yours. You're going to have to have more confidence on Monday. Hmm? The calendar shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I know I'm not oil painting, but who am I to disappoint the voting public? Yeah, but the question is, have you got the bottle to exhibit your bits and bobs? Oh, I'm not ashamed of my body, Mrs Hope. Regular exercise keeps me trim and tone. <laughs> Even so, a photo shoot can be very intimidating. Can it? Mm. Oh. Well, at least I'll be in good company. Yeah, that's what you mm. think. Word of warning about Ryan. Who's Ryan? The photographer. He won't think twice about tearing you to shreds. He's had my poor Donna in tears before now. That's outrageous. Yeah, take it from me. He's a nasty piece of work. 35p. Bye. He'll be uh, coming to the stag do then. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Yeah, bring an old duvet. Or a uh, yeah, pillow, you know. Anything feathered. Duvet? What the hell's he going on about? No, my, he, he, he's winding you up. You do know that's best man. I'm holding you solely responsible for my personal well-being until after the wedding. Look at him. He hasn't got a clue. Well, neither have we. You're going to tell us what you've got planned for this stag deal, what? Three words. Earth, wind and fire. As in the 70s, man. Hmm? As in the elements. Has he been taking some of your medicine, Seth? Hey? Look, if he can handle the elements, he has nothing to fear from no woman. I would rather blow the money on a stripper instead. Oh, the entertainment's already in the bag. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. How's it worked, Dad, then, this, this, this element thingy? Listen, stop fretting. I, I, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll watch you back. Francis, that way! Uh, yeah. Mmm, nice legs. Didn't know you were into biking. Near yeah, little this morning. <laughs> Where did you get that? Put it off Danny for 20 quid. Bargain or what? <laughs> What's the joke? I gave that to Danny ages ago. I think it's fit for the scrap heap. Anyway, you're a bit of a keen cyclist yourself. Oh, it's been known. Oh, how about coming on a ride? Maybe some other time. Come on, take advantage of this lovely fresh air. Do you the world a good? Look <laughs> at the fitness fanatic here. I'm beat sitting in front of the telly all night. Look, 
I promise I'll go very, very slow for you. Oh, all right then, but I'd better go and pick up my bike first. All right, race back to yours. You're mad, do you know that? Yeah, maybe. But by the time I finish with him, he won't have the energy to tie his shoelaces. Why do I keep getting punished like this? You are not being punished! If only I'd been aware sooner. I mean sooner? I'm talking about way back at the beginning. Oh, Chris, you've just got to stop beating yourself up over things. But if she was under this roof when it happened, and all I did was call her a, anything from a junkie to an alcoholic, while all the time she was out there alone, desperate, vulnerable, Doesn't bear thinking about how she ended up this way. This isn't your fault. I won't make another mistake. Not where Zoe's concerned. Chris, listen to Do you me. want a permanent reminder of every hellish moment we've been through these past months? Because that's what it would be if Zoe went ahead with this. That's why I must stop her from having this baby. Till death to us part according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Do you think we'll ever get there? If you're lucky. You then let go of Marvin's hand, and I'm ready to receive the rings. The rings? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paddy. Uh, I'll then proceed with a short prayer, after which, Marlon, you too. Tricia, do you need a moment? Oh, can you give me two minutes, please, Vicar? Tricia? I think I've had too much to drink. Oh, what were those? <laughs> she certainly picks her moment. Now you can carry on without me. Back in two ticks. Andy, where are we going? You'll see. Come on. At least let me get my jacket first. Come on. I'm freezing. Where's your great grandma's? Great Grandma Josie. She wanted you to have it, love. Come try it on. You can always get it adjusted if it don't fit. No, those addicts are perfect. I'll treasure it. That's not everything. Betula pendula youngii. More commonly known as a weeping birch. Just a little something to remember the baby by. I know it's not much, but... No, uh... thanks, Dad. It's a lovely thought. I love you. Oh, thanks, Andy. So, uh, will you be doing it again? Oh, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Come on, Andy, the truth now. Was he an embarrassment to the great outdoors? On the contrary, I was very impressed. Especially the way he negotiated those bends. Yeah. More jinx, anyone? Bye, round. So where was it then? Oh, a nightmare. I've got aches in places I didn't know I had. And what about those bends? Oh, I just shut my eyes and hung on for dear life. You deserve everything you get, pal. Oh, yeah. Jack, I hear congratulations are in order. Send my best to Andy and Katie. Thanks. I will. Why is everyone pretending that Andy and Katie getting married is a good idea? Oh, get off the lad's case, will you? Well, look, believe it or not, I'm actually on Andy's side. I just don't see why he can't chill out for a bit, play the field, get a few notches under his belt. This is coming from a man of experience, is it? Well, I like to think so, yeah. Oh, here come the happy couple. Just ignore them, Marlon, and they might go away. I assure you, we're not going anywhere in a hurry. Not exactly your flavour of the month, those two. I hope they live happily ever after. Must have cuffed up with my house. Yeah, and when will that be? Soon. <clears throat> Got a plan, really. Legal, I hope. Cross me out. Come to a decision. So soon? Come and sit down. I'm going to have a termination. And you sure that's what you want? You're doing the right thing. I promise. Please, Zoe, think about this, yeah? Oh, I have. Over and over, practically to the point of my head bursting. 
But it's not going to go away unless I do something about it. Yeah, I know that. And I'm with you all the way, Zoe, whatever you decide. She has decided. But why not sleep on it, eh? Hey? And I want you to understand that we both stand by it fully. Don't we, Charity? Thank you. I phoned the clinic. I've got a consultation booked for next Tuesday. Good night. See you, love. You OK? Yeah, shattered. It's been an hectic kind of day. Strange one and all. What with Benice not coming, hasn't quite sunk in yet. I know it's a blow, but Emily's a good sort. Yeah. And the rehearsal went well, didn't it? Even had Mum welling up a bit. Mm. I don't think I could take any more hiccups along the way, though. Yeah, we've not had the best of runnings, have we? I'll say. What with Edith passing on so suddenly. Mike asking us for money. Losing our dream home to boot. Sometimes I wonder if it's fate's way of telling us... Whoa, 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 stop, stop right there. Nothing in the world is going to spoil our wedding. I won't let it. Yeah. Do you think we made the right choice, though? You're never having second thoughts. No, about holding the reception here. Are you kidding? This place is the hub of the community. It's one of the... Seven wonders of Yorkshire. I bet it'll still be standing when the pyramids have long gone. Yeah, but it's also the place I pull pints and clean dirty ashtrays every day. I guarantee you, come Thursday, there won't be an empty crisp packet or a tatty beer mat in sight. It'll be cocktails and canapes all the way. We'll be surrounded by family and friends. What more can anyone ask for? Yeah, you're right. I'm just being silly. Here, I want a centrepiece on every table. Wherever you want. I've been reading this magazine for tips and that. How about real fruit covered with sugar? Makes a beautiful centrepiece and we can eat all the fruit later. No waste. Well, I was, I was thinking more along the lines of a, of a floral theme. You just said I could have what I want. What about the cake? Where's the cake going to go? Oh, definitely pride a place at the buffet table. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be amazing, isn't it, Marlon? Everything you've ever wished for and more. <laughs>